Hello everyone, new topic for Ryan on Gaming. This comes from Sergio Castro. He says, hey Ryan, I submitted this topic about a year ago when you started Ryan on Gaming, but no luck yet. My topic was about trophies. I love them, you love them a lot, a lot of people do. My specific topic though are games with no trophies, maybe PS1 classics and such. Uh, do you ever feel wanting to play them, but the lack of trophies stops you? I find this to be a serious problem at times. Anyways, keep up the awesome work, man. Sergio, I appreciate that. Yes, uh, you probably did submit this a year ago. Uh, maybe I saved it in my um, screenshot uh, folder collection thing there's a few of them in there maybe i just missed it or something i apologize for that but i was actually just about to record some ryan on gamings like just now and i had gotten your message so i thought you know what i think it's time to finally give you an answer T finally time to do your top you've been waiting patiently i understand sergio um now not, not to put you on blast but let me go to your profile here and let's check you out a little bit um sergio i can see you're you're you're, an, you're a man that loves uh, their trophy that loves his trophies you got 30 platinums very respectable by the way you're level 20 on playstation network 3464 trophies in total as i'm recording this um yeah obviously like trophies you know you like you, you know i like my trophies because you know, i got basically over 100 platinums at this point which is a little absurd um yeah, interest, in, interesting topic. The, the thing is, it kind of takes me a little bit back to their the you know trophies and achievements, their first kind of um, uh, inclusion in the games industry and how it kind of had an effect on people and how they play games and stuff. And it was a very communal thing, you know, like you've used, um, you know, trophy hunting websites, achievement hunting websites, um, that, you know, you'd read the forums and everything and people were just so um, hell-bent on getting into them. And so many people were like, oh, I never thought I'd get into them the way that I did, but now I, I gotta play games with achievements, I gotta get the DLC with the with the add-on achievements, um, you know, I'll go get this game, this is an easy platinum real uh, real quick right here, uh, download this game for, you know, a few easy bronze trophies or, so, or a few easy gold trophies or something like that, you know, um, it was a very communal thing, um, and absolutely for a lot of people it turned into this situation where it was like, oh, you know, these... You know, trophies and achievements have ruined games for me now because I have to have them. Um, I have to play games that, you know, sometimes trophies, typically, uh, trophies and achievements, they'll typically make you play the game in the hardest setting or something. Um, they'll have trophies that are overly difficult. They'll make you play the game in a certain way that you wouldn't have normally played the game before, like in Dead Space, where it makes you use just one... The, the one basic weapon the entire in the entire way through right that's not something you'd normally do uh, dead space has a lot of creative weapons but there's a trophy for there's a trophy for doing that it's one of many examples how the the they can you know change your whole idea and in, in, in your way of how you typically enjoy a video game so for a lot of people it was like yeah you know they, they're, they were just hell bent on getting them so you know they buy a game and it's like even though they genuinely enjoyed it they end up hating it, hating it at the end because they had to do all these ridiculous things that the the trophy list made them do um and so it's kind of the same thing here where where, where, you, where you talk about oh what about past games older games that don't have trophies you know do you, do you find yourself not even playing them because um it's just not worth it at that point and i will say personally for me there was a small period uh back in the playstation 3 where i was earning platinums left and right um and it wasn't even a, a situation where i was specifically going for trophies um, it was like it, I've always been pretty upfront about that like I don't purposely go out of my way for trophies it was just it's just a matter of you know I buy games and when I get games I will earn all the trophies in them so um, there was a time with PlayStation 3 where tons of games were coming out and I was playing games left and right I had tons of like games on my backlog that I wanted to go back and get the trophies for and it got to the point where I was like um, you know, uh, I, re I remember specifically a few times there were a lot of quality Wii games coming out at the time, and I was like, I don't have time for those because I have to spend extra hours getting these trophies, and, and that's the thing. It was it was definitely extra time because you could easily finish a game and then move on. But a trophy, you know, to get all the trophies in a game, for example, is definitely going to take you longer than just fin finishing the game. Because more often than not, a trophy list, an achievement list, is going to require you to do maybe multiple playthroughs or extra difficult side quests or something. Um, do collectibles, you know. They're going to take you longer than just finishing the, finishing the game and moving on. So there was definitely a time where... I was playing a lot of PlayStation 3 games, and I was like, I don't have time for these Wii releases that were coming out, because I was definitely into the Wii a lot back then, too, so, um, there was, like, a small little stretch of, like, half a year where I was, like, kind of in that mindset where I was like, I do not have time to play anything unless it's, you know, a PlayStation game that's in my backlog that has, you know, trophy support or something, because I wanted to get all the trophies in it, um, Nowadays, that's not necessarily, not necessarily the case, and that was only like, the case back then because so many games were coming out. Um, so, I mean, nowadays, I don't really give a shit. Um, I mean, yeah, it's 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 definitely still one of those things in my in the back of my head where if I do play a game, 
Um, and it's only specifically a PlayStation game because if it's a, if I'm playing Nintendo or something, I'm not thinking, oh, I could be getting trophies. It's, it's like I'm playing a Nintendo game. I was never going to get trophies in, in these things to begin with. Nowadays, if I'm playing a PlayStation game and it doesn't have trophies, I it's always in the back of my head, huh, I wonder if this game did have trophies or I wish it did have trophies. Like PlayStation 1, like very much so you mentioned, um, you know, recently uh, it was like uh, what last year i started playing spyro 2 just for the hell of it just on my own personal time i was having a blast but i was totally like oh my god it'd be so cool if this game had trophies um and that goes back to what we said earlier because trophies do offer an interesting dynamic you know even if you don't like trophies even if, even if you don't give a shit about achievements and all that um they do offer a pretty interesting dynamic when you play games and and it's it's a very rewarding thing when you earn them because you know, sometimes if, if the trophy's really hard or whatnot, or sometimes you're just like kind of OCD about it. Um, not to just casually throw around the word, uh, throw around the term uh, o OCD, but when you see like the the hundred percent on your game list, it's just it's unusually satisfying, right? It makes you a little happy downstairs. So you know that's that's kind of what it is. And yeah, I, I mean, I totally feel it when I'm like playing a game that doesn't have trophies, but it's. It's, I feel that way with PlayStation stuff specifically because, especially as of recent, because Sony is doing a lot of great things with trophies, which is that now there's premium PS2 games on the PlayStation Store where they're adding PS, they're adding trophy support to PS2 games and they don't have to really alter the PS2 games all that much. They're still full on the PlayStation 2 games. Nothing's altered about them. It still has, you know, if you go to the menus in those games, it still has a DualShock 2 um, you know, uh, control set, you load it up, it says loading memory card slot one and all that. Like these are completely untouched games, but now they have trophies and that's fucking awesome. So now I'm hoping that at some point, if PS1 classics ever come to PlayStation 4, that they will do the same thing. And it seems like that will probably be the case because Sony is currently doing that with PS2 games. Um, and you know, if I was, um, super into achievements, I used to be back in the day, I, obviously I only have so much time to commit to one platform now and that's trophies. Uh, but if I was, if it, it would be the same case on Xbox, you know, if I was playing original Xbox games, um, I'd be like, oh, this would be so, this would be so much cooler if I could earn some achievements on these. Um, but yeah, I mean, personally, it just doesn't really bother me anymore. It's always, an, it's always an afterthought for sure, but it doesn't, doesn't necessarily stop me. And, and Sergio, it shouldn't stop you either. Um, you know, games are still games. They're still fun. Um, that's what we uh, plan to get to, to begin with, not just for the, the achievements and trophies that we earn for them. So keep that in mind. Sergio, I want to thank you for submitting the topic over a year ago and resubmitting it just to make sure that I got it because I definitely did. And now I did it. And if you have a topic that, if you have a topic that you'd like to submit, by all means submit it. And if you've been waiting for a year, maybe let me know again. There are a couple of people that always say like, dude, I submitted this a while ago. Where is it? You know, come on. I mean, I've been waiting and I'm like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. I mean, there's only so much I can do here. I'm just one man. Um, so yeah, remind me and, uh, I'll definitely do it at some point. Of course, if it's good, if it's a bad topic. If it's a topic about like Nazis or something, I'm not going to do it because this is about, uh, you know, like gaming and stuff. So don't submit topics about, uh, about Nazis. Thanks. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.